If you love the rich and exotic sounding harmonies in the music of Herbie Hancock, Chick Corea and McCoy Tyner, or if you're just a fan of pentatonic chords, then you are in the right place. G'day, I'm Mike Hayes and welcome to our second video on pentatonic chords. If you've missed the first video, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner so you can catch up on it. You know, I've often thought of pentatonic chords as like a chameleon type harmony. They'll just about blend into any situation. In today's video, we're going to study four note and five note pentatonic chords in several keys. And most importantly, we're going to look at how to apply pentatonic chords in standard chord progressions. And in today's video, we'll be looking at how to apply pentatonic chords over 251 progressions. So without any further ado, let's get started. It's a long video, so grab your favorite beverage and your guitar and let's get cracking. In this session, the first step will be to learn the F69 chord. We'll begin by learning the five different inversions of the F69 chord. Each one of these chord shapes contain five notes. And those five notes are the five notes from the F major pentatonic scale. So the first thing we need to do is identify the names of the notes in the F major pentatonic scale. The notes in the F major pentatonic are F, G, A, C, D. On the screen at the moment, you'll see a diagram with the location of the notes of the F major pentatonic scale on the fifth string. It's a good idea to keep the names of these notes and their location on the fifth string in mind as we're playing through this exercise. You'll notice we're building an F69 chord from each one of these scale notes. Here we go. Next up, we're going to play a four note version of the F69 pentatonic chords. So obviously we're leaving one note out, and the note we're going to leave out are the notes that we played along the fifth string. So for this exercise, we're going to locate the notes of the F major pentatonic scale on the first string. And on the screen at the moment, you'll see the location of the F major pentatonic scale notes on the first string of the guitar. Remember to keep the names of these notes and their location on the first string in mind as we play these four note versions of the F69 chord. For this next exercise, we'll also have a bass guitar playing an F background. Here goes. Okay, now as many of you know, the F major pentatonic scale has the exact same notes as the D minor pentatonic scale. The notes in the D minor pentatonic scale are D, F, G, A, C. And if we compare those notes with the notes in the F major pentatonic scale, F, 
G A C D, we'll notice that they're exactly the same notes, only in a different order. So what that means to us is that we can also play these F69 chords over a D minor background. Let's do that. We'll play the same four note chords, only this time the bass will play a D background. Have a listen to the different emotion that we get when we play these F69 chords over a different background. Here we go. Right then, time to put the G69 chord through its paces. We'll go through the same process as before. The notes in a G major pentatonic scale are G, A, B, D, E. Here is their location on the fifth string. And now we'll play the full five note versions of the G69 chord. Keep in mind that we're referencing our scale notes off the fifth string. The next step is to practice the four note versions of the G69 chord. And remember how we did this before. We located the notes in the pentatonic scale on the first string. So here is the location and the names of the notes of the G major pentatonic scale on the first string. OK, when you're ready, let's practice the G 6-9 chord, the 4-note version, and we'll have a G background while we're practicing. <laughs> Before we go on, I'd just like to mention that the notes in a G major pentatonic scale are also the exact same notes as an E minor pentatonic scale. Now, we're not going to be using the E minor pentatonic scale today, but I just thought you might have some application where you could use those chords over an E minor background. OK, on with the show, and the next pentatonic scale we're going to learn is the E-flat major pentatonic scale. The notes in the E-flat major pentatonic are E-flat, F, G, B-flat, C. And now we'll go through the same process that we've just done previously with the other two major pentatonic scales. Here's the names of the notes and their location on the fifth string. And when you're ready, we'll play the five note versions of the E flat 6 9 chords. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you know the drill by now. 
The next step is to locate the notes on the first string of the E flat major pentatonic scale and then play the four note versions of the E flat 6 9 chord, referencing the scale notes on the first string. Here we go. And as we've mentioned before, each one of these major pentatonic scales has an equivalent minor version. So in this instance, the notes in an E-flat major pentatonic scale contains exactly the same notes as a C minor pentatonic scale. The notes in a C minor pentatonic scale are C, E-flat, F, G, B-flat. The notes in the E-flat major pentatonic scale are E-flat, F, G, B-flat, C. Let's practice those four note E-flat 6-9 chords again, only this time over a C background. Right then, this is where the fun starts. I'm going to show you several different applications where we can apply the 6-9 chords over standard chord progressions. The chord progression you see on the screen at the moment is a pretty typical 2-5-1 in C minor. So we have a bar of D minor 7, and underneath that you'll see that I've marked in F major pentatonic. And if you recall earlier in this video, we discovered that we could play an F6-9 chord over an F background, obviously, but we could also play it over a D minor background, because we said that the F major pentatonic scale contained the exact same notes as the D minor pentatonic. So in this instance, we're going to have the F6-9 chords functioning as part of a D minor sound. Now on to the second bar where we have G7th and for the moment I'm going to go for a very obvious choice. I'm going to play G6-9 chords from the G major pentatonic scale. Now when we move to bars 3 and 4 we have a C minor 7 and what I'm going to do here is play some E flat 6 9 chords because as we've just mentioned the E flat major pentatonic scale contains the same notes as a C minor pentatonic. OK, let's have a listen to how that sounds. Next up, we're going to work on the C6-9 chords that are produced from the C major pentatonic scale. Now we did cover these in the previous video, however I'll just go through it again as a refresher. The notes in a C major pentatonic scale are C, D, E, G, A. And here is the location of those notes on the fifth string. And when you're ready, we'll go through the five note versions of C69. Now, let's 
let's work on the four note versions of the C69 chord. Here is the location of the notes of the C major pentatonic scale on the first string for our reference. Here we go. Okay, now it's time to apply these 6 9 chords to another 2 5 1 progression. This time it'll be a 2 5 1 in C major. For the D minor 7th, we'll use the F6 9 as we did before. The G 7th bar, we'll use the G 6 9 chords that we used in the previous example. When it comes to the C major 7th, this time we'll use the C69 chords. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Well, that's all we've got time for in this session, but before we finish up, I'd like to give you a quick preview of some of the sounds that's coming up in our next pentatonic video. In today's session, we've been working on five note and four note pentatonic chords. In the next pentatonic video, our focus will be on three note pentatonic chords and looking at how to play these chords over more complex harmonic backgrounds. For instance, how to play over chords such as 13th chords with a flat 9th, or major 7th chords with a sharp and 11. Let's have a listen to some of these sounds. We'll also be considering how to play these chords when we have another chordal instrument in the band, such as a guitar or a keyboard how to keep out of their way. In this preview track, you'll hear that there's another guitar in the background, just sustaining the chords, and our objective will be to overlay these chords with three note pentatonic chords. Let's have a listen. <laughs> As you can hear, lots of interesting things coming up. And that's reminding me to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of our new lessons. And if you like the type of material that we're covering, don't forget to hit the like button. That really helps us out. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to pop them in the comments section below this video. And as always, I look forward to catching up with you again next time. Bye for now.